routine news. Hey, this is Commander Weber with the Week in Review for February 17th. Global tensions are on the rise in the wake of the Chinese spy balloon as the United States shot down an unidentified object over the waters of Alaska on Friday, February 10th. The object was in high-altitude flight and headed to the North Pole. We will remember Santa Claus fondly every December, and we mourn his untimely passing. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made in his memory to a reindeer rescue. Speaking of China, they've been firing lasers all over the place this week like they're putting on a Pink Floyd tribute show. Uh, Japanese astronomers announced on Sunday that they'd captured video of a Chinese satellite shooting green lasers over Hawaii. Then on Monday, the Philippines accused the Chinese Coast Guard of blasting one of their ships with a military-grade laser, temporarily blinding the crew while a Chinese ship made dangerous maneuvers out in the water like it was Top Gun 3 and Maverick had been busted down to seamen. Defense experts recommend that as tensions escalate, we should hide our coke in case the Chinese want to play joke. In entertainment news, the trailer for DC's The Flash debuted in the Super Bowl on Sunday, fully revealing Michael Keaton as Batman, and I haven't stopped skeeting ever since. That's right, the Scud missile has come out of retirement, and I'm doing more damage than Ezra Miller has to DC Studios' public image. Behave yourself for four more months, you little son of a bitch, because if this movie gets pulled too, I'm hiring Captain G to hack the goddamn Warner Brothers servers, and we're going to start leaking some fucking movies here at WNUT. And finally, the family of Bruce Willis announced yesterday that the actor has been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Doctors say that if this means he won't be able to remember Die Hard 5, then there is a silver lining to this dark cloud. This has been Commander Weber with your Week in Review for February 17th. Please be sure to join us right here every Friday where I will do the same goddamn thing for all the week's most important stories. In UT News, you hear it. First.